हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम हरिवीर सिंह वर्किंग एट द गेट एकेडमी प्राइवेट लिमिटेड एज सब्जेक्ट मैटर एक्सपर्ट एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन रीसेंट गेट प्रॉब्लम्स व्हिच इज फ्रॉम द टॉपिक काइनेटिक ऑफ पार्टिकल्स व्हाई दिस प्रॉब्लम आई एम डिस्कसिंग बिकॉज़ दिस प्रॉब्लम इज इन्वॉल्विंग टू कॉन्सेप्ट्स व्हिच आर रिक्वायर्ड टू सॉल्व दिस सो एज द प्रॉब्लम यू कैन सी इन योर स्लाइड दैट अ ब्लॉक p of mass 2 kg slides around the surface and has a speed 20 meter per second at the lowest point q where the local radius of curvature is 2 reading this problem again as you can see in the slide block p of mass 2 kg slides down the surface and has a speed of 20 meter per second at the lowest point q where the local radius of curvature is 2 meter as shown in the figure assume g is equals to 10 meter per second square the normal force in newton at q is so we have to find this normal force q to start with the diagram is given like this somewhat like this so this is the lowest point that they are labeling as q suppose this is the mass now they have given this mass is equals to 2 kg and r that is equals to 2 meter now what is r r is nothing but radius of curvature at q r is nothing but radius of curvature at q now g value is also given as 10 meter per second square g value is given as 10 meter per second square now when this part when this block 2 kg 2 kg block will reach the point q at that point we have to tell the normal reaction of the block so first you understand at this point when the block will reach to look like this and we have to draw the force diagram of this block so on this block to multiply by 9.81 or you can write 2g also g is given as 10 so i will write directly 20 newton 20 newton weight is there that is acting downward some normal reaction will be there that will act upward now that part is okay but this is not in equilibrium forces are not balanced why because there will be some acceleration now the concept is this is a curvilinear motion of a particle this 2 kg block can be considered as a particle which is under some curvilinear motion so at this particular point which is lowest point here it should have two components of acceleration one is tangential component of acceleration and other is normal component of acceleration so tangential component of acceleration it will be in the direction of tangent like this this will be at but normal direction if this is your center of curvature this is your center of curvature and this is your r radius of curvature then definitely normal component of acceleration will always act in a direction toward the center a m should act in this direction so now this is your force diagram where we have to show that normal reaction in this direction so at this point there is no motion along y direction so can we apply newton's second law net forces is equals to mass times acceleration definitely we can apply along y direction so that means net forces along y because acceleration is towards the center here that means whatever force is acting in this direction should be greater in magnitude in comparison to the downward force so that is the reason i am writing n minus this 20 that is equals to mass given is 2 multiply by acceleration along y direction and that we are calling as normal component of acceleration now what is this normal component of acceleration normal component of acceleration can be given as 
v square by r v is the velocity at that point and r is radius of curvature at that point so at point q radius of curvature is already given so we will write an value is equals to velocity velocity is given as velocity is given as 20 meter per second velocity is given as 20 meter per second so we can put that value velocity v square by r will be equals to 20 square by radius of curvature is 2 meter we will put 2 so it will be somewhere around 400 by 2 that is a n will be equals to 200 now a n is 200 meter per second square so that means we can put this value over there in our first equation so then we will get n minus 20 is equals to twice multiply by a n so a n value we are getting 200 so n will be equals to that is 400 plus 20 so our final answer for this normal reaction should be 420 newtons this is normal reaction and this is unit only 420 newtons for this reaction now looking at this two things we should keep in mind what we have done we have find the component of acceleration along normal direction so that part is important what is that component of acceleration that is v square by r this you should keep in mind radius of curvature it is given here as 2 meter but radius of curvature we have one more expression for radius of curvature that is important that radius of curvature can be given like this 1 plus dy by dx square to the power 3 by 2 divided by d2y upon dx square that is also one of the expression which can be given in gate exam for finding radius of curvature when this curve will be given as a function of x here they will give y as a function of x suppose they can give that fu function function suppose they can give y is it for this y is it this they can give as 4 is in 0 comma 0 and this y they can give x cube plus 2x square like this and from here to here it is 5 meter these kind of things they can give all other things they will keep same except one change this they will give some graphical representation and y as a function of x and at the same time they will not give this radius of curvature to you but in order to get this normal reaction we definitely need that radius of curvature so finding that radius of curvature becomes difficult so for that you should always keep in mind this particular expression which is for radius of curvature now what to do to get this value for this function you have to find dy by dx and then put x equal to 5 for this function you have to find d2y by dx square and then put x equal to 5 so those two values you have to keep here and then solve accordingly you will get the radius of curvature so that is a type of variation that is possible for the same problem they can give like this thank you 